Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I am so excited today. I have so much to tell you guys and so much for us to do today. I promised that we were going to do pineapple juice today. I keep, like I told you all before, my pineapples and my fruits and my vegetables in the refrigerator so that my juice will be nice and cold when I make it. Now, there are several things that have taken place. Please, when you watch the video, and if you haven't gotten your juicer, my son came over last night and helped me to link the account to Amazon so that you all, to make it convenient for you, now you can just click on the link at the bottom in the description box and you can go from this video to ordering your juicer. And the first thing I want to do today is give a shout out to my sister Rose. Hey Rose, um, she's my number two sister. I'm number six guys. My mom had six girls, no boys. Amazing. Here I am with my tissue. It's just, I have to keep my paper towels near me. So anyway, Rose Dale, thank you for my cutting board that you gave me years ago. So I'm using it today because I want to show people how to cut up their pineapples for their juice. And also the first thing that we're going to do before we get started is because we're doing pineapple juice, you know, I want to tell you the benefits of the juice. It's so good for us everything and i have to keep saying this everything that god made for us to enjoy in the earth it kills cancer cells so let's and it also just helps other parts of the body but for me because he killed healed me of cancer then i had to do research on what heals the body of cancer and pineapples and overripe bananas are top of the line now for this particular Breville juicer, you cannot juice bananas. Hmm. You, you can use your bananas in smoothies, and we'll talk about that in another session. I wanted to give a shout out to my one of my team members who has come on board with me to help me to expand this Pause With God juicing is Wanda Mills. She's going to be our account manager. She's going to manage how we move forward. And so one of the things you'll meet her on Friends on Fridays. So she just told me today, she said, we got a new episode that we've got to bring on. So on Fridays, and today is Friday, so starting next Friday, we'll do Friends on Friday. She's going to come to my house and we're going to have a fabulous time. And I'm going to try my best to have Pam Jacobs here as well. Because again, I give a shout out to Miss Pam because Miss Pam, I'm going to call her the juicing queen. She was juicing before juicing was popular. So I'm already three minutes in, guys. I know you have to go to work. I have to go to work. But I'm always excited. And I want to give a shout out to all the little children who are watching me and who are excited about getting their parents to juice. Good morning, boys and girls. It is such a blessing that you want to watch me. And I want to thank everybody who have watched, who are calling me, that I've texted you the link um, for you to watch the program and to share. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your insight on the things that I should say, things that I should look out for. I want to say, I don't know if there's a glare here because the sun is super bright today. I even have my curtains closed over there and the blinds closed behind me. And the sun is so bright in Virginia today, and I thank God for it. So without further ado, the first thing we're going to do is find out what the benefits are with pineapples. I also have some notes because I want us to have good, good information on what it is that we're doing to our body. You know, the body was made to heal itself if given the right conditions. So whatever condition that you may have, you can feed it right take care of it, get plenty of sleep, and please, by all means, drink lots and lots of water so you won't have those cramps at night when you're sleeping, okay? So let's look at the benefits. And of course, you know my routine for now. I go off camera, I pull up the benefits so you can see it. I put it to the camera. Oh, and another thing, look, we are expanded. We are actually 
horizontal today instead of vertical. So that means we're spreading out and we're spreading our wings and we're going to have a good time with eating clean with Francine and pausing with God. All right. So I'm going to get that. Look at this. Excitement. The benefits of pineapple juice. It boosts your immunity. It aids digestion, relieves coughs and sinusitis. Look at that. And we've been calling the doctor and getting um, uh, antibiotics when we could have just eaten a bunch of pineapples and made some pineapple juice. It also reduces arthritis pain. It strengthens bones, reduces period cramps for the young girls that are still having their cycle. It also lowers the risk of cancer, all in the pineapple that God made. Now, listen at that, you guys. I don't know if you actually could see it, but I'm going to put it up here one more time for you. It boosts immunity, aids digestion, relieves coughs and sinusitis, reduces arthritis pain, strengthens bones, reduces periods, cramp, reduces period cramps, lowers the risk of cancer. Now, I want to tell y'all, because I got to give a shout out to my dad, he is the best father that any of us could possibly have. It is God Almighty. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Somebody asked me, where do I get my fruit from and my vegetables? Well, most stores are careful with what they sell. So any grocery store that you would like to go to, farmer's market, anywhere that you would like to, that you shop anyway, just start going to the outer aisles and getting your food. Go to the produce section and get your fruits and vegetables. One thing that my husband taught me, and I love that man, he taught me this. And he learned this, I don't know where, because he's always doing research. He's brilliant. And so he said, don't keep your bananas in the same place that you keep your other fruit. Because over on one side of our island here, we have our oranges and red apples. And over here, we keep the bananas. Because bananas, for some reason, don't like being around other people. Their bananas are not sociable. And so we have to keep them separate, and they last longer. Just a little tip for you all today. So now for those of you who have just gotten your juicer, I got word that people don't know how to put the juicer together. So I don't have the juicer all ready to go today. Okay, so we're going to put the juicer together. The first thing you want to do is get your juicer out. And I thought I cleaned it really good yesterday. I like being unscripted. So now what you're going to do is lift it up. It's like a little purse or for guys, it's like a tool bag. But I have my cord that is going to my right, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna plug it in yet. The control button is to my left. So you're gonna put that to your left side. You're gonna keep the handle in front of you. You don't wanna put it behind you. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I forgot something. So I've gotta go and get one of those plastic bags that come from the grocery store that we had our fruits in yesterday. I'll be right back. Just get in the bag because I want to show you. I want to show you ta -da, how to make your cleanup easy. All right. So now you put that bag into your um, pulp catcher. All right. So now when you wash your juicer, you have to hand wash this entire area. You cannot immerse this part in water, okay? But make sure you wash this off really good because there are sometimes when you have a lot of juice, it'll get caught. Let me come a little bit closer. It'll get caught right up under there. And you just take your dish rag and just wipe it clean until the dish rag shows clean, all right? I am so excited for you all to take care of your bodies. So the next thing we have to do, This is what is called the juice catcher because the juice comes through here and then comes out of this spout right here. I'm missing a part too. So what I do is there's a little lip up under here. Let me see, I'm gonna turn this to the side. You see that right there? So you're gonna take your pulp catcher and you're gonna slide that as close to, because it's locked in right there. And this is also to keep juice and things from going out. Then you take the juice catcher 
and you slide that, there's a, I'm gonna turn it to the side. There is a lip here. You see that? You see that lip there? And there's an edge here that fits down inside of your juicer. So all of that connects. Your pulp catcher, all of that connects, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, this is the blade and the filter. Now, your juicer, I'm gonna get it, also came with a brush. You can, this is multi-purpose brush to me, but I only use it to clean my vegetables off, especially carrots, because they come out of the ground, especially celery. But it's also used to get into the crevices of your filter here because that keeps pulp from going into your juice. It just keeps that juice nice and clear. And this has arrows on it. You see that? And those arrows connect to the arrows that's down inside of the juicer. So we're gonna just put that in place and I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear. It snaps in place. Then the next thing, we take this because this protects the pulp from coming out and separates the juice and causes the juice to go through the blades, through the filter. And so that, again, there are little pieces on the side. Let me see if you can see that. Yes, right there on the side. So here we are. So all of this just fits nicely in, all of it. And there, those grooves, it all sits in. And then you take your handle, listen, so now, look at this. The juicer is completely in place. You see that? All components fit like a puzzle. I love puzzles, by the way. Then you can put this on if you want to, just for a moment. Some people, and I know I used to, but I don't now since we've been doing the episodes, I just leave it undone. But sometimes I would juice and, and pack it up and put it away. But now I don't. And I'm glad I don't because I wanted to show you how easy it is to juice. This is not hard to do. The more you learn, the more you do it, you can do it really, really quick, right? All right. So I'm looking for, ah, there it is, my rubber spout. And there's only one way it can go on. And you put that on the edge where the spout is so that you can catch your juice. All of this comes with. This part, mainly, it really does need to soak in the bleach at least once a week because it will get pulp particles caught inside and you don't want that, okay? And then, of course, you have your pitcher. The pitcher comes with the top. I don't use the top um, and I, because I drink my juice the same day. Maybe if you were having company and you wanted to do juice before your company came, you could keep it in there and keep it in the refrigerator. But I like keeping mine in jars because I juice take my juice to work. All right, so now, I'm not plugging this in right now. Why? Because I also, since we're doing pineapples, a lot of people don't know how to cut up pineapples. So we're gonna cut up the pineapples and then we're gonna make our juice. But I wanna go over some things with you first. So, and I'm reading my notes because I have to study to show myself a food, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When I tell you about nutrition, and the nutrients that you're putting in your body just from fruits and vegetables. I wanna give you truth. I wanna give you the part of research that I've done, that I've read over to make sure that it's proper information. So I'm gonna read this to you today. Um, pineapple is low in calories and high in vitamins and minerals. One cup of pineapple chunks will deliver these benefits that I'm reading. Now, for those of you who still don't have your juicer yet, and please kick, mm, mm, click on the link in the description box and order your juicer. I did that for you to make everything so easy for you to be able to do. And please forgive me for those of you who had to go outside of the link to order your juicer. But I appreciate you supporting me in this journey because we all are going to be healthy and do great things for God. So when you, for those of you who don't have your juicer, and then for those of you who just want to cut up a pineapple to have the chunks to eat, because sometimes pineapples have fiber. So we need that to fill us up and to flush out our bowels. 
mention in flushing out your bowels now. For those of you who did make your beet juice or will make your beet juice in the future, don't forget the beets are red. It's like dye going through your system because it's the antioxidants are cleaning your colon, okay? And going into the colon and pushing those nutrients through your intestines. Well, when you eliminate all of that in the morning or whenever you do, it's going to be red. So don't be surprised. Just like when you eat asparagus, there's a horrible smell when you urinate. Well, the vegetables are doing their job and the fruit is doing its job, okay? So don't be alarmed when your poop is red or deep, deep burgundy. Just the tip, because I, I don't want you all to stop juicing because you see um, some things that may be alarming to you. The only time you will stop is if you have an allergic reaction. Allergic reaction means your throat gets itchy, your skin may break out, then you're having a reaction to it. But that also means that your system is toxic and you need to clean yourself up and come back to that thing that made you break out. If it's a good thing for you. I'm having fun. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm going on with the benefits and the nutrients that this provides. Vitamin C. You'll get about one third of your recommended daily amount of vitamin C, which aids in tissue growth and repair. That's why we need vitamin C. That's why we need to take care of our bodies. Vitamin C helps boost your immune system and also help fight cancer, heart disease, and arthritis. For those of you who are wondering, what can I do? The doctor's giving me this pill. I've been prescribed this pill and it's giving me side effects. Juicing and eating your fruits and vegetables will begin to eliminate the need for the pharmaceutical companies. Yep. Manganese. Pineapple has more than 100% of your recommended daily amount of this essential trace element. Manganese helps with bone formation, immune response, and helping your metabolism. Don't we want to get our metabolism going so that we can get slim and look good? And it's summer is coming, so we want to get fit for the summer. It's not a, it's not a resolution. We're resolving to a new lifestyle, a new mindset, okay? Fiber, nearly 10% of your daily fiber needs are in one cup of pineapples. Fiber is necessary for a healthy gut and can help you stave off hunger. So now, in your little bag, and I haven't talked about this because we're only talking about juicing, but every day you should pack your lunch or you should pack snacks and things that will help you to stave off hunger during the day. One of those things is, ta-da, nuts, any type of nut that you like, but pineapple chunks, look at that. Here we go, vitamin uh, B vitamins. Pineapple gives you a healthy dose of several B vitamins, including thiamine, niacin, B6, and folate. These nutrients help your body process energy from food you eat. So. Those nutrients, we need nutrients in our cells. If we're feeling sluggish, if we're feeling tired and drained, please get plenty of rest, get plenty of water, but eat you some pineapples. They're also critical to forming new red blood cells, which carry oxygen to your organs and tissues. Did you know that? Pineapples help you form new red blood cells because the body renews itself. And we'll talk about that in later sessions. But the body is renewing itself every day when you're giving it the right conditions. And if you continue to do this for one month, check yourself. Keep a note of everything, of how you feel, when you started, what, what changes your body may be going through. Keep notes on that so that you will be able to look back and say, wow, I did this and I feel better. You want to feel better. You want to do good for yourself. You want to love yourself. You want to love yourself first because you can't give out something that you haven't given to yourself. Various minerals. Pineapple contains several mineral, minerals your body needs for proper function, including copper, potassium, and magnesium. We'll go over those nutrients later, but I do want to tell y'all that Brazil nuts and you can, and I'll put a link today 
for the Brazil nuts that you can order from Amazon. Amazon has become my business partner here because you can order a large bag of Brazil nuts. Somebody gave it to me for a gift. You get 30 small um, individual packets, but you can put that in your bag for your snacks. Brazil nuts help flush your um, lymph nodes. That's where the cancer was under my right arm and when they removed the cancer, because I did have surgery to remove it, but without chemo or radiation, it was the size of a small egg. That's how large the tumor was under my arm. But juicing and eating clean stopped the cancer from growing and spreading in my body. So I'm going to get the packet because I keep them in a bowl um, near my fruit so that when I get ready to go off to work, I also keep peanuts over there too. Um, but I'll grab some bags and put in my lunch bag so that I'll have some healthy snacks. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And these are the Brazil nuts. They come in a little packet like that. And I will have that link today for you. I love Brazil nuts, but they flush out your lymph nodes. They keep the toxins from building up in the body in your lymph nodes. And lymph nodes are everywhere in the body, flushing out toxins. There are lymph fluids in the body that help flush. And if we don't drink the water, if we don't eat the proper uh, nutrients, then those things, the toxins can't be flushed out. So this body is an amazing machine that God created. And I'm speaking to the body of Christ especially that we have to take care of the temple where God lives. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Listen, God who created everything wants you to come and be a part of his team, wants you to be his child. And the way that you do that is you recognize that there's things that are not right with you. And the Bible is called sinning. You're a sinner. I was a sinner. And God says, I want to change your name from sinner to saint. And the way that your name is changed, the way that your identity is changed in God is you acknowledge that he had a son. This is all scripture, Romans 10, 9 and 10. He has a son, his name is Jesus. And you tell God, I recognize that I am a sinner because something's wrong with my life and it's not working for me. But I ask that you come into my life, that you be my Lord, that you be my dad. Forgive me of everything that I've done wrong because he knows why you've done wrong and he wants you to help it help get it right so read in romans get you a bible romans 10 9 and 10 if you confess with your mouth believe in your heart that god raised jesus from the dead you shall be saved what will you be saved from eternal hell living eternity in darkness when you confess that lord Please come into my life. Please be Lord of my life. I'm out of control here and I need help. Don't you know he'll come in? He'll give you peace. He'll give you direction. Will life be perfect? No, but it will be so good that you won't even recognize yourself in about two years because you have gotten your Bible, read it every day, talk to God every day, and ask him to help you change your ways. I talked about grace. And that's what grace is. God coming alongside of you, your partner, and helping you to be your very best self. So let's cut up this pineapple. One of my friends called, um, called me yesterday. And I was so glad to hear from her. And she told me, she said, don't forget. Because I was saying the reason why I do the show is because a friend of mine, or an acquaintance that a lot of us knew died of cancer. And, and I said, you know, I wish I had been able to get to her. I wish I had known. And it is told that she didn't learn until the very, a month before that, so we're gonna cut the top off. She didn't learn until a month before that she had stage four cancer. I wanna tell y'all, listen to your body. You hear that knock? Your body is knocking and it's saying something to you, but we choose to ignore it because we're so busy. 
That's why I say love yourself. Take time for yourself. Take time for yourself in these sessions. Take time to listen to the sessions. Take time to hear God telling you, don't do that. You can hear him. Don't act like you don't hear that voice to tell you to treat yourself right first. That way you can treat others right. You know when you're eating the same thing every day. You're going out to restaurants. You don't know the preservatives that they're putting in the food that's causing your cells to clog up, to cause those re free radicals to get freer in your system. I'm very passionate about this because I learned what I was doing to myself. And that young lady in a month of finding out, she died. I am going to do this because I want to help somebody that wants to live. Not everybody believes what I tell them. Not everybody believed that God healed me of cancer just from me eating clean, but he did because I obeyed him. And I'm begging you all, love yourself enough to listen to your body and know something's not right in here and I've got to change. God's grace come upon you today to change in Jesus' mighty name. That's an amazing name to use for good. Because I've learned he's not going to answer. Okay, so I've cut. He's not going to answer when you're not praying according to his will. He won't do that because it'll get you in trouble when you're off from his will. Okay, bottom of the pineapple has been cut off. And look, oh my gosh, I wish y'all could smell that. They have not created Smell TV yet, but I want to tell y'all it's so it smells so good. So now we have the top of it, which is really, really pretty. And I heard that if you put this in good soil and give it a lot of sunshine, you can grow your own pineapples. I've not tried that one yet, but maybe my husband will do it for me. So I'm going to put that aside. Now we have the bottom off, the top off. And what I do, you're going to have to take your, um, your knife and have, kind of curve it around because this is curved. But there is also a tool that you can buy or order um, and you can go in and it'll uh, spin around. It's a spiral cutter and it will cut the entire pineapple out for you and slice it at the same time. I don't like using the tool because I'm not strong enough to use that tool, but I am strong enough to cut my pineapple. Thank you, Mardell, for my um cutting board here so now and for those of you who this one uh for those of you who can see that it is taking some effort here to cut this let your pineapple sit on your counter for about three days and as you see it turning um i'll show you because these have been in the refrigerator but wait till they get a little golden cut this off and then I'll get one if that's been sitting out and I'll put those in the refrigerator today. Okay, so look at that. So now that pineapple and even with this, the little brown spots on it, that's okay. You don't have to go in and cut all of that off. But this one is ready, right? So we're going to push that aside and I'm going to push all of this aside as well. Now my tissue, because I keep that with me, I'm going to push all of the scraps from that side too. I'm not going to try to clean all of this off because of time because we're already at 28 minutes. So I have another pineapple here and I'm going to get one of the ones that have set out for a couple of days. Can you see the difference in the color? This one is starting to turn golden. Some people think it's rotting because it's getting a little soft at the bottom. No, it's easier for you to cut it like that. So if you buy them in the store and they're already turning golden, Make sure that you refrigerate them or go ahead and cut them up and keep them in a container until you're ready to juice, all right? I care about you. That's why I'm doing this. But I care about me too. And I care about me enough because God told me, I need you to care about yourself. We run out and care about a lot of other people and we neglect ourselves. Well, you know what? What do they tell you on the airplane? <clears throat> Excuse me. For those of you who have been on the airplane, 
because everybody hasn't been on an airplane. Everybody don't like traveling by air. But the first thing they tell you, once they start getting you ready to take off, they say, in case we have problems while we're in the air, we need you to put your mask on you first. Mm -hmm. And then start reaching out and helping those around you who may be in panic mode. Because some people get in panic mode as soon as they hear bad news. That's why Christ came, to give us peace in the midst of any storm that we face. Do you not think cancer was a storm for me? It was. But God said, come on, sit with me, baby girl. You're the apple of my eye. He just didn't tell me that. He's telling you too. You're the apple of his eye. He loves you so much that he will rescue you out of any situation you face. Any. So, all righty. So now, I love the cutting board, Mardell. Thank you. I love all of my sisters. Dee Dee, I love you. Rosedale, I love you. Emma Jean, I love you. Mary Alethea, that's honey. I love you. You see, my sister Daryl on number six, she died in 2015. I still love her and I miss her. And I'm doing this for my family because we need to take care of ourselves. Yeah, if I'm the baby girl, then all of my older sisters, take care of yourself. I want to shout out to my nieces. I love you. Tracy, Victoria, Ronnie, Taryn. Yeah, those are the adult women in my family. But I want to shout out to my son who came and helped me last night. And if you ever get a chance and you like old school music, go to Mixcloud and listen to Party With G. He's bad to the bone. He'll have you up and dancing. After you make your juice, you can dance a little bit. And praise God, too. All right, guys, let's make this juice. I promise you it won't be this long. So now I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut it in fourths. Because we got to make sure that this is one of the fruits that we do have to cut up to prep to go into that hopper. So now I'm going to cut it again because I want to make sure that is cut well enough to go in. So I'm just gonna leave that to the side like that. When On the future episodes, I will talk about eating out, where to eat, what to eat, and how to eat when you go out to eat. And also we're gonna cook, but I wanna get you in juicing because that was the first thing that God had me to do was to juice. And I wanna suggest to you all this weekend because you're just getting acclimated to juicing, right? So now I want you to stop eating one thing that you absolutely love and replace it with your juice. One person told me a couple of days ago when I was telling them to do this, they said, I've been eating like this for 51 years and I don't think I can. Again, God's grace will come upon you and give you the power and the strength to do it. He, grace is he gives us his power to do what we don't have the power to do. All we have to do is ask him, God, can you help me? That, that's how much he loves us. That's the kind of dad. I don't know if any of you were raised in the house with your dad. I wasn't. So when God came into my life and became my dad, oh my gosh, I was a spoiled daughter. And I asked him for everything. And you know what? If it's something that he knows will hurt me or take me away from him, he won't give it to me. But most of the time, the things that I'm asking him for, I need help every single day. I'm plugging in. I'm going to turn the juice on, and you know when I have the juice on, because I don't have the equipment as of yet, um, I'm not going to talk to you. But I want you to see the beauty of what God will do for us. This juice that he made to take care of our body, to give us all the nutrients that he needs, that's how much he loves us. You've got to know that. He loves you, but you've got to accept what he's given to you. You've got to go out and make the effort to take what he's given to you. And this is a very simple thing. Get your fruit, get your vegetables, and make sure you take care of your body. The reason why I use Granny Smith apples all the time, because Granny Smith apples also clean the lymph fluids in the body. Cleans them right out. Flushes your lymph system so that the toxins can be moved, okay? They have other benefits, but that's the main one, and that's why I started eating them. 
and juicing them and adding them in some of my juices. But today we're gonna make pineapple juice, okay? Let's get started. I also juice on the high setting. I don't juice on low, okay? pineapple juice will fill your juicer and it will begin to fill up your juice catcher and you see all of that pulp that did not go through into that container there it's all clogged in here now if you make more juice than what I've made today then what you're gonna have to do ooh, I got a one more piece that fell over there guys let me put that in before I pour it y'all know this is unscripted and that's what I love about it because our lives are not scripted. I don't want a scripted program. I want us to know every day there's something that we face, but God is with us. All righty, so I have a, I think it's, let's see how many ounces this is. This is 24 ounce mason jar. And I'm going to see how much we've made today look at that look it, it looks like um like a pineapple smoothie in episodes to come we'll make smoothies so what i'm doing here i'm going to make a large jar of pineapple juice and you can take this for those of you who are still on medication you can take this with your medicine because what you're doing is i'm going to take care of my body i'm going to do what my doctor tells me to do to take this medicine but eventually I won't need this medicine because I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. So now what I'm gonna do here with the rest of this, I'm gonna make pineapple apple juice because you know you want, you want a variety, but if you're trying to take care of yourself, get your body acclimated to just a few recipes. You don't have to have a different juice for every day because your body really needs the green nutrients. I'm giving y'all some sweet ones because when I want something sweet, I drink my juice. That takes care of the sweet taste that I'm craving. And then later on, we're gonna learn how to make muffins and bread and desserts. My favorite thing that I've learned to do is hot chocolate. But you gotta get your system detoxed. Let's make this juice and then we're gonna talk just a little bit more and then we're gonna be done for the day. to ourselves nutritionally. Whatever foods we put in our body, it causes these cells to clog up. It causes the liver to become fatty, um, become toxic. And what does that mean? It means that your pH level, the hydrogen in your body, the power of the hydrogen in your body has become acidic. There are acids in our body. There are acids, as soon as we Put something in our mouth there is acid in our saliva that begins to break down the food that we put in to help it to go through our digestive system but there are acids all throughout the body and if your body is overly acidic then your body is toxic a friend of mine told me yesterday she said remind yourself let me remind you 
an acidic body is what causes sickness and disease. And I said, thank you for reminding me of that. It's called your pH, but I call it your battery is on low. One of the things that we will jump and do is if our cell phone is dead, we've got to find a plug to charge up our cell phone. But when our body is dying and we can see it physically on ourselves, we can feel it, but we will not do what we need to do to recharge. Some of us were not educated in it. I know I wasn't, but that's why I'm here to educate you on recharging your body. You're toxic. Your pH levels are low. That means they're under 7.5. It's low. I am doing this to help you to raise your pH and get your body's battery back on full capacity so that we can go, so that we can move out in life. It's really called homeostasis if we want a technical term. There is, your body is in alignment, proper alignment. When your body's pH levels are right, it means it's alkaline. You know, the batteries in not only your phone, in your car. The pH level in a swimming pool has to be at a certain point. All of these things are so that we can be at peak performance. If you have a battery in an appliance that you're using, if that battery dies, you can't use it anymore. And if you leave it in that appliance too long, guess what will happen? It'll begin to corrode. So some of our bodies, we've not been taking care of our battery, our internal battery, our cell our cells, our organs, our blood. We've not been taking care of it. So therefore, it's beginning to corrode. And corrosion manifests in high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, hmm, weight gain. Um, what else is there? Cancer. There's so many diseases out there because we allowed our bodies batteries to corrode. Now, guess what we're doing? We're charging that battery back up. As a matter of fact, we've taken out the old. We're flushing out the old and we're putting in new stuff. That's how amazing the God that we serve is. He will allow us to renew. We can renew our minds. We can renew our bodies. Our spirits can even be renewed. So y'all have a great day. This has been a long episode, but you needed to know how to set up your juicer, how to cut up a pineapple for those of you who didn't know. Now, I want y'all to see something. You see that? It's set for a minute. So what I have to do, and I just shake mine up like this. I don't, the froth will go away, but when you shake that up enough, you're putting those nutrients back in, okay? So we have to do that. But that's pineapple apple, and the froth comes from the apple, from the peel on the apple and the stem from the apple. So like I told you the other day, when you pour that out, look at that, look at that. So I'm going to taste this because I want y'all to know how good it is. Mmm, 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 mmm. You know what that tastes like? The pineapple apple one? Remember the Dream Sickle ice cream cones? Um, I'm 65, so they had little ice cream pops and it was called Dream Sickle. This tastes like a pineapple dream sickle. It's a dream. And look at all the nutrients that we're going to put in our body when we drink our juice. God bless you today. Love yourself. Love yourself to life. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday here in Virginia for me on this episode. This is our fourth episode. I love you guys. And I want the on only the best for you. Have a great day.